Blind hemming is a professional way of hemming things like skirts or trousers, pyjamas or even your curtains because on the outside of your fabric you're going to see very very little of the stitches on the inside is where all of the work goes on. Just like if you've bought something from a shop, if you turn it the uh, inside out then you'll see lots of stitches on the one side but nothing on the outside so that's what we're trying to achieve. You've got four blind hemming stitches on the machine, uh, number nine, number ten, number 11 and number 12 and you can see how 9 and 10 are mirror images of each other as are 11 and 12 but 11 and 12 have got lots of zigzags in between. That's because these are for stretch fabric or jersey fabrics and 9 and 10 are for woven fabrics. So I'm going to choose stitch number 10 and I want the straight part of the stitch to go on the hem of the fabric throwing across the zigzag stitch or the point of the stitch onto the fold of the fabric which will show through onto the right side. That will make sense in just one second. So let's scroll up to number 10 by pressing the program button on the machine. Oh, there we go. There it is. That's number 10. Um, you can adjust the length and the width of these stitches as well. So what I suggest is that you have a play first. Take a scrap of the same kind of fabric that you're working with and just make sure that your buttonhole foot is adjusted so that you get the minimal amount of stitches. And again, that will make sense in just a second. So this is your buttonhole foot and it's adjustable. You have a plastic, uh, like a bar on the side here, that's where you're going to put the fold of your fabric up against. And we'll have a play with this again in just a second. These are snap-on, snap-off feet, so let's take off the zigzag foot that was already on there and just drop on a blind hem foot. And if this is your garment, you'll need to measure and mark, or measure and crease if you if you're using woven fabric, where your hem needs to be. And then on the inside, so that could be the bottom of a trouser leg or of a curtain, I'm going to fold over the raw edge and crease it. So that's going to be my finished hem. Now obviously this is white fabric and I'm sewing with black thread. Normally you'd use white thread or the same colour as your fabric or you can even use an invisible or clear thread if you've got a pattern fabric. But I'm using black and white so you can see what I'm doing. So that's how my hem's going to be and this is the tricky bit because now I need to fold back that piece of fabric on the top. So I've kind of exposed this fold of fabric here. So let me just do that again just to show you. There's my hem folded over once, folded over twice, and then flip this piece back, and this is what I'm actually going to sew on. So that goes under my machine. Pin all of this when you're doing your, um, your garment. There we go. And it's this fold, this second fold, that's going to be bumped right up against that white plastic bit of the foot. And then I'm going to sew a few stitches and just see what happens. So we've got straight stitch and a zigzag straight and a zigzag. And as the zigzag stitch goes over, I just want the point of that stitch to catch on the fold of the fabric. Just a couple of threads, just a tiny amount. I'll just move that thread out of the way. So if I finish now, this is what I'm looking like on the inside. When that hem goes back down again, it'll actually be that way around, look. So that's how the stitches look there. But on the right side, you're going to get a little tiny dot. The smaller the dot, the better. So again, if that was in a clear thread or a white thread on white, you wouldn't be able to see any of those stitches at all, which is why we call it invisible hemming. <laughs>